Good morning, boys and girls. How are you this morning? I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited to be here with you again today. And I decided that we're going to do the fruit of the Spirit one more time because we kind of jumped in and started talking about the fruit of the Spirit and memorizing the verse and learning the sign language, which is all good, but we never really talked about why they're important and how they go together and how they um, were, are talked about in the Bible. So we're going to talk about that today so that we kind of understand what we just got finished learning and talking about. So, but before we do that, we're going to do the sign language and we're going to learn the sign language for the entire verse. So you already know the ones for the fruit. So I'm going to show you what's the little bit before the, the fruit and what comes after the fruit. But before I show you the new stuff, let's practice what we know. And we're not going to say it like the verse. I'm just going to hold up the card and you show the people around you what the sign is. All right. So practice love. Love, joy, joy, peace, peace, patience, patience, kindness, kindness, goodness, Goodness, faithfulness, faithfulness, gentleness, gentleness. And then last week we learned self-control, self-control. All right. Now. We're gonna do the first part, and there's only two things we have to know. So take your fingers like kind of like an okay sign and put it at the corner of your mouth. This is fruit, okay? Fruit. Then the sign for spirit is take your fingers kind of like this, and you just go up like this, like you're pulling a string. Spirit, okay? Fruit, spirit. Fruit, spirit. All right, then at the end, against such things, there is no law. So you're going to take your right hand and, your, and, and put it into your left hand like this. Against. 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 Such things, so hold up like this and then take your finger like things, like a checklist. Things. Against such things. Okay, there is no. Like this. Cross it like this, there is no, there is no. Against such things, there is no. Okay, and then law is the letter L. Take your hand sideways like this and go law, law, law. Okay, so against such things, there is no law. All right, so this is fruit, spirit, against such things, there is no law. Okay, think we can do it from the start to the finish? Let's give it a try, all right? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. There you have it. We did it. That's awesome. Now you know the whole verse. So you can keep practicing that this week. All right, so now let's talk about where it is in the Bible and what the story is and why the fruits of the Spirit had to be talked about or to be given. So there were a group of people called the Galatians, and they loved God, they loved the church, but they argued and fought over all kinds of things. So Paul had to write them a letter to give them some advice about how to live and to stop all the fussing and fighting. And what he told him, told them 
was really good and it involved or had to do with the fruit of the Spirit. So let's read from our storybook what, where the fruit of the Spirit came from. Paul helped people understand how to live the way God wanted them to live. One time, Paul wrote a letter to a group of people called the Galatians. The Galatians had a new church and they needed lots of help. One of the problems they had was the way they were always arguing. They fought and fought about all sorts of things. The Galatians didn't always agree about what it meant to be a church and what rules to follow. They had a hard time getting along and it was getting in the way of them making a good church. Paul wrote a letter to the Galatians to tell them to stop fighting and he had some really great advice. To the Galatians, the letter said, I am so happy that you believe in Jesus, but all your fighting is getting in the way. You're not living the way the Holy Spirit tells you to live. I have a suggestion to try. Instead of living like you are, live with the fruit of the Spirit in mind. Show love, joy, peace, and patience to one another. Be generous, kind, and faithful. And remember, be gentle with one another and always show good self-control. Live with the fruit of the Spirit in mind. That's the way the Holy Spirit wants you to live. The Galatians looked at each other. They were very quiet. Paul was right. They weren't living the way the Holy Spirit wanted them to. What were they thinking? All this fighting was just not right. At the end of his letter, Paul wrote, the way for you to get along and be a church is to let God's love fill you. May the grace of God be with you, Paul. Each day the Galatians tried to remember the words of Paul's letter. They said yes to peace, no to fighting. Yes to kindness, no to anger. Yes to being generous, no to being greedy. Little by little, the Galatians saw God's love and showed it to the others. They felt loved by God and they loved each other. So the fruit of the Spirit, all of the things that we've talked about, love and joy and peace and patience and the whole list come from the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. So if the Holy Spirit is in us, then the fruit of His Spirit is in us as well. So that's what we strive for every day is to remember those fruits and to show those fruits in our lives by the way that we live and the way we talk and the way that we think. So we've had all of these things that we've used to make help ourselves remember. We had the flame um, um, on Pentecost when we talked about goodness and we talked the, had the sheet for the Psalm 23 and we talked about gentleness and we had self-control with the stoplight and our kindness critter and love and joy and faithfulness all of those things. And I've kind of kept them here as a visual because I need a reminder. I need things that I can see or hear that remind me of things that um, I need that are good for me. So while I would love to leave this stuff here forever, I can't and I, I probably won't. But something really cool happened to me this week. I was in the store and I came around the end of the corner or around the end of the aisle and sitting on the end were these plants. And I want you to look at this. Do you see this right here? It looks like a pineapple, which is a fruit. And this is a real plant. I had no idea that this kind of plant existed. But when I saw it, the first thing that popped into my mind was, hey, fruit of the spirit. And I thought, you know what? If I had this plant at my house to have to take care of it so that it gets what it needs to live and grow, it will remind me of things that I should be doing to help myself and others live and grow. So I'm going to replace all of these things with my pineapple fruit of the spirit plant. Now, you may not have anything like this at your house, but you might have something that you already know that you have that would be helpful to help you remember the fruit of the spirit. Um, but sometimes when you're looking for it, it's hard to find it. So this week, I just want you to be aware of when you're just doing your daily thing. If you see something that makes you think, oh, fruit of the spirit, let that be your reminder and take that, that whatever it is and put it somewhere where you see it every day to help you 
um, remember the fruits of the Spirit and recall the, the verse to mind and keep putting it in your heart so that we can all practice every day living better the fruit of the Spirit. All right? Let's bow our heads and close with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for your spirit living in us. Thank you for the fruit that we have to live each day to show others that you live in us. Help us every day to live with the fruit in our heart. Thank you for your love. We love you. Amen. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Sunday. I love you, and I still miss you like crazy, and I'm praying for you.